glorious morning, children of God. It is the plan and purpose of God for we to be blessed this morning. I welcome you to this great day that the Lord has made, and we are certainly glad in His work in our life. It is not because of our righteousness, not because of our faithfulness, not even because we have it all. It is the message of God that brought us this far. And may His name be praised forevermore. This morning, I will be sharing with us this great exhortation this morning that the Lord have laid in my heart to share with His people. I want you to stay focused, stay ready as you listen to this exhortation this morning. And I believe your life after this moment will never remain the same. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great opportunity that you have created. This privilege that we enjoy as your children. Lord, we appreciate you. There is no one like you. Neither is there any beside thee. You alone are God and God alone. There is none like you. Even as we hear your word this morning, bless your word in our heart that our life will never remain the same after this experience. Thank you, Father, for your grace. For in Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. By the grace of God, my name is Joshua Satoan. I want to exalt us a part God's word this morning, even as we listen. Stay blessed and stay good in Christ Jesus. Amen. This morning, we'll be looking at a topic titled The Need for Sunshine and Shadow. The need for sunshine and shadow. First Peter three fourteen and seventeen. For ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye. For it is better if the will of God be so that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. All the masterpiece the masterpieces of art contain both light and shadow. A life, a happy life is not filled only with sunshine, but one which uses both light and shadow to produce beauty. Persecution can become a blessing because it forms a dark backdrop for the radiance of the Christian life. The greatest musician as a rule as those who know how to bring songs out of sadness. Fanny Crisby, Crosby, Crosby, a spirit aglow with the faith in Christ. So more with our sightless eyes than most of us do with normal vision. She has given us some of the great gospel songs which cheer our hearts, lives. She wrote some 2,000 hymns, of which 60 are still in common use. Paul and Salah sang their songs of praise at midnight in a rat-infected jail in Philippi. Their feet in stock, they are back row from the jailer's whip, but they are patient in suffering and persecution, led to the conversion of the hating prison warden. 
The blood of the mitre is mixed well into the mortar, which holds the stone of civilization together. In the world of Tamton Welder, without your wound, where would you where would your power be? The very angel of God in heaven cannot persuade the rich, the wretched and blundering children of earth as can one human being broken of the will of living. In love service, only wounded soldiers will do. When was the last time you really suffer for righteousness sake? For the cause of Christ. The need for sunshine and shadow. That is the need for pain and care. Rejection as well. When last did you suffer for, the, suffer for the cause of Christ? Let us pray. Our Father and our God, I lift up my voice in songs of praise to you. I bow my head and bend my knees in praise to you. I live victoriously in praise to you. I share the good news with the world in praise to you. Praise your holy name and praise Christ Jesus, my Lord, for his sacrifice on my behalf. In his name, I pray. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen.